Hi, I'm Anna Hilberry with National Bank Financial, September 2nd, 2019. Everyone has a different idea of what happiness is, but one common thread is freedom of choice, being able to do what you want, when you want. Having financial security can go a long ways towards achieving that goal. But how do you get from point A, having little to no savings, to point B, financial security? The answer is setting a budget. Who does this apply to? Everyone. You can be a new graduate who's just starting out, you can be a high level professional who has a big income with no structure to your spending, or you can be a person whose life has been thrown a few challenges and you're struggling. So let's get started. Step number one, set out a list of needs versus your wants. So a need is something that you absolutely have to have, like a roof over your head, food on the table, clothing on your body. A want is something that you want to have, but you can live without. For example, buying a boat, going on holiday, sending your children to private school. Step number two, review your needs and be realistic. Are all of your needs actually things that you need to have or are some of them wants that are being pushed onto the needs pile? For example, some people feel like they need to have a cup of coffee in the morning, but do you actually need to go through Starbucks drive through every day on your way to work or could you make your coffee at home? Step number three, identify your level of income. If you're on a salary, this is easy, you know what you're going to receive paycheck to paycheck. But if you're on a variable income because you have your own business or if you're on commission income, what you want to do is look at the last six to 12 months and then take the average, being mindful of any months where you happen to have a low level of income and that's a, you know, a common occurrence, then you're going to have to work that into your budget as well. Step number four, take your total monthly net income and subtract from that the total monthly needs costs, including repayment on debt. Step number five, Set out your level of savings. It should be a meaningful amount of money that you're setting aside, but not so much that it's impeding on your quality of life. Step number six, now you know how much money you have to spend on your wants. If you have more than enough money left over, you might want to consider increasing your savings. If there's barely any money left over at all, now's a good time to reevaluate your skill set, maybe apply for that promotion, or look for a new career. Now you know the basics of how to set a budget. You should be doing this each and every month. If you're a geek like me, you can use an Excel spreadsheet. If you need a little bit more help, there's all sorts of programs available online. If you're single, determining your spending habits is easy. If you're in a relationship, there's even more reason to do it. One of the number one leading causes of divorce in North America are problems over money. Increasing communication over these sorts of issues can only help your happiness. I'm Anna Hilberry. Thank you for listening.